This coverage is brought to you by Rami Rent. All right, my friends and fellow disc golf fans, welcome back to the European Pro Tour All Stars event from Mija, Spain. This is round two, back nine coverage. I am your host, Nate Perkins. The perks of disc golf. Thank you guys for supporting women's disc golf in Europe. Taking a look at our four competitors, Rachel Turton leading the way just three over through a round and a half. Joined by Jenny Larsen from Sweden, Silva Sardinen banging some good putts in through the first nine holes. She is from Finland in Heidi Laine, your European Pro Tour overall champion this season. Taking that first place cash bonus. We are in the very southern point of Spain, just outside of Malaga. This is a disc golf park. The whole 10 is a par 3, 90 meters, slightly uphill. Again, if you guys have been tuning into any of this coverage from Mijas, the theme of this course is certainly the elevation change and the roll away potential on nearly every green. Okay, I haven't seen this one from Rachel. This is FX3. She just released that a little bit earlier than she wanted. She did intend to start it out wide on some Annie, but just a little early out of the hand. It started off just a little chilly this morning, but the jackets are off, the sun is back out, and you can see we're basically playing in a desert here in Spain. You can see just how dry the terrain is, how hardy these small trees and bushes are. It's just not not the friendliest of plants here at Mijas. And hey, the not too pleased about the result of that layup. No, what an unfortunate. Oh, and she's going to have to lay that one up twice. Probably the saddest thing you can do in disc golf is fail a short layup.
right, hole number 11, it's a par three, 78 meters. You can take this straight technical shot, or you can play this hyzer out over these trees. Kind of brings the roll away more into play. But these trees are just, they're so unforgiving. If you take this low route and you catch any of the branches, it's its probably dropping you straight down. Not, that is unfortunate, but it's, it's pretty common to see here at Mijas. It just catches the wrong side of a rock and just sends Rachel down the hill. Yeah, and there it is. It you just really never see discs fly through these trees. Oh, and just sit for her. Nearly catching the pole right there. What a great tee shot from Silva. Yenny still going driver here. Going for this low route. Wow, running it back. Rachel Turton, deep in circle two, catches right side and drops it in for the birdie. No, just sit. I mean, this course is roll away central. I know I keep repeating myself, but it really is one of the most difficult aspects of this course. Even these short five, six and seven meter putts, they just can be extra nerve wracking. Because you know if you if you miss, if you catch that cage or that band, that it has a potential to go a long way. All right, hole number 12. We've got a really nice view on this one. It's a par three, 95 meters, downhill basket. Probably one of the most exposed baskets here at Mijas. If you get the angle wrong on this shot, you're heading down a huge hill. Just such a piss 
picturesque disc golf hole and there is the danger here you can see she's just kind of smiling at that one i mean that that disc went probably close to double the distance of the hole after nearly hitting right by the basket she probably has over a hundred meters back up to the pin There's just there's such a cool view here on the 12th. You're looking out over the Al Alboran Sea, which eventually link links up with the Mediterranean. Really solid birdie there from Rachel, and she is the first player to be under par for a round. She's currently one under through 12 holes, and hole number 13 is a long par three, 165 meters. It's significantly downhill, and it plays into this little bowl not as much of a roll away potential here and pretty protected from the wind once you get down to the green. Rachel going D1 here and that's just not, not the angle that she really intended. She wants to throw that a quite a bit more Anheuser. You know, when you're teeing downhill, it just becomes so much more important to get that nose down as well. As soon as you get the nose up, the disc just stalls and stables out or annies out. Like Even players that don't throw quite as far... If they can get the nose angle right on a downhill tee shot, they can really do some special things. And that is a huge shot from Haiti. She is nearly pinned high right there. I mean, maybe inside circle too. And remember, this is a 165-meter hole. And just back-to-back, -back, huge tee shot. Silva nearly matching Haiti there.
Wow, nearly tossing that one in. Checks up inside five meters. And Rachel from a blind position. And Silva almost carding a spectacular birdie here on the 13th. Nehedi from a similar position doesn't quite get the turn she's looking for on that putt. Rachel's got a little backstop here. Let's see if she can toss this one in. Oh no, I don't roll. That's unfortunate. Hey, D has been putting pretty well this round. And she stays committed on that comeback right there. It's going to be Rachel's first bogey of this back nine. She moves to an impressive even on the round. Calculate the distance on. It's downhill. Let's go a little bit of a tailwind left to right during this second round. Oh, and a helping tree right there drops it to within five meters. going with that FX2 forehand here hanging it out wide Let's see if our camera guy can keep up with this one just staring directly into the sun and Rachel does find the island and Haiti going with the standstill that is always so impressive to me And we're taking a look at the drop zone here. So I believe there was a slight error. Silva was actually out of bounds and Yenny was safe. Yep, makes the correction on her five meter putting stroke right there, puts it back on the pole. Oh no, Rachel puts directly over the basket. 
Oh, and it is. It's out of bounds. That is so unfortunate. She's been playing clean all tournament. And just a huge mistake here. Really solid birdie there from Yenny. Rachel going to take a look at the putt, kind of questioning why she missed it high like that. And we're moving into the 15th. It's a par three, 100 meters. This one's slightly up the hill on this little terrace right here. You do not want to hit on the right side of the bucket here. You will likely roll all the way back down the hill. So as I'm doing a little dig in here, just learning about the area, The Alboran Sea is actually still considered the Mediterranean. It's just, it's considered the westernmost part of the Mediterranean. So I think if you are chatting with the locals here outside of Malaga, that they would actually reference the sea as the Mediterranean. Correct me if I'm wrong though, guys. Are you, are you calling this the Alboran Sea that players are looking at or are we calling it the straight up Mediterranean oh just a straight rope drifting the whole way what a beautiful line from Silva Good-looking hyzer if it stays high enough. Oh, and just in front of the chains there. And what a way to bounce back. And let's see if Rachel can make the correction. I believe she's putting into the opposite wind here. And you can see she's just a bit timid after what happened back on the 14th. All right, hole 16 brought to you by MDG. That is more disc golf. Couldn't find a better group of guys working extra hard to bring you premium disc golf coverage from the European Pro Tour all season long. Go check them out on Instagram and YouTube. That is more disc golf believe they have partnered with the European Pro Tour again in 2023. 
They're going to be working to bring you that coverage all season long. I had the pleasure of hanging out with the with the crew in Estonia. Got to play around a disc with them. Hole 16, it's only 75 meters, but it's it's just hard to tell on camera how uphill this one really is. And then you do you have that OB line that Rachel is flying towards and the look of frustration on her face. Decent headwind left to right here for Silva. And just puts it on the pole for another impressive birdie this round. She's had her ups and downs, but she has a great looking putting stroke. And such a young player too. Finland just continues to display just how much talent they have. Zuka bar three 114 meters headed significantly down this hill and you can see the basket is on the edge of a near cliff here you do not want to go deep on this one you also you really don't want to turn this one over you'd like to keep this flat A full flexing shot there from Silva. Really pretty flight. Haiti looking to punch this rive out there on Heiser. And she flips that up nice. If it can stay in the air, it's going to Heiser back. And she's actually out driven this 114 meter pin location. And that's what you don't want to see, really. You don't want to see your disc turning over that significant. Now she's down that hill, and she's going to have a blind approach to this basket. And Rachel really got on top of that D1, and that is going places. Oh, no. And look how bad it is on this hillside. This is not fun. And just back up into the wind, exposes the wing. 
don't believe she made it back to flat ground, but we'll find out here in just a moment. Yeah, she's still going to be on this hill. Oh, a really stout headwind there for Yinny on that putt. And she resets and finds strong side chains there. Oh, and we missed the result of that short putt. Rachel not happy with the double bogey here on the 17th. And the wind has just really picked up here late in the round. Alright, hole 18, it's a par 4, 201 meters, another significant downhill tee shot. This final electric pole is a mandatory, you have to throw to the left side of that post. This is a really fun tee shot, it's, it's reachable. And I think it's it's even potentially reachable for some players in this division. With the right wind, the right disc, and the right angle, it's possible. needs that ride to flip and she's not going to get it to just a little too much hyzer out of the hand there not the worst landing zone but definitely not as far as she could have gotten if she hit that on any or even just flat And now that is Yenny's biggest tee shot of the day by far. She might be bringing that Mando into play. She might have to kind of throw away from the pin on her second, if that makes sense, with the way that the mandatory sets up laid in the hole. There, there it is again. Rachel got the angle of the disc right. She just got the, the actual nose angle wrong. She threw it with the amount of Annie that she liked. But if she got that angle nose down, we would have seen a tremendous different difference in the flight of that disc. Haiti just unleashing on a standstill. Are you kidding? What a shot. Wow, that one surprised me. And Silva gonna just back it up. Let's go. Both Silva and Haiti are inside 10 meters putting for birdie here on the 18th.
Yeah, I've had the chance to cover a few of Rachel's rounds this season, and I've got to say I have never seen anybody with a routine quite like hers. The way that she takes her throwing hand off of the disc completely as she's lining it up, I think... That's one of the beautiful parts of the game of disc golf is the creativity that everyone brings to the table, to the course rather. You know, it's it's easy to kind of watch YouTube and try and mimic someone's form, but it's also really cool to just go out to the basket, go out to the field, and just do what feels good for you do what feels right and you never know you might be one of those players on youtube in the future that people start to copy your form and your routine and not to overshadow hades incredible birdie to finish her round And Yenny with a nice par. It's a pleasure to watch her play for the first time. Rachel, not very happy with the way that she finished, especially those last three, but she is still leading the way by quite a bit. I'd like to thank all of you guys that are still with me here for tuning into this coverage for taking a look at the scores here rachel eight over through two she's five of head of silva six ahead of Hady. and we are looking at the same four competitors for our third and final round 